Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we are going to be discussing my September favorites, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So my first favorite of the month is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I'm wearing the Smashbox B Legendary Lipstick in the color Witchy. And to be honest, I bought it because of its name. I thought it was spoopy and I'm like, that's exactly what I need in my life. And I ended up putting it on and I fell in love with it. And I'm not gonna lie, the color looks intimidating. It looks a little scary and like it's gonna be incredibly bold, but I feel like it is perfect for fall. It has some nice purple and brown undertones that is just incredibly flattering. So I definitely love this. My next favorite is my Bite Number no. 16 Lip Pencil. Personally, I have been using the crap out of this. I love it so much. I feel like it is a very natural color where if I'm in a jam and I don't have any other lip liners but I still want to outline my lips, this would be perfect because it just gives that natural looking, bigger look to your lips. So I really love this. My next favorite is my Tardiest Lip Paint in the color Festival. I love this because I realize I end up buying like 40 of the exact same color and they're all mauves so I'm trying to branch out a little bit more and try more bold lipsticks or nude lipsticks and so I tried this to kind of ease in to the nude lipsticks more and so this is more of a nudie mauve color and I love it so much it's very comfortable on the lips and it's just very flattering so I have been loving this my next favorite is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit I love this so much. I love the colors in it. It's absolutely beautiful. I've had this for a while, but I've just now recently been going into it more for my everyday highlight. And personally, I love Pink Heart. That is the one that I will typically use on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes I will even go in with blue ice. And I just think it's very flattering and it's kind of mysterious because I'll be out in public and someone will be like, are you wearing pink highlight? But they have to look in order to see it. And so I don't know. I just, I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful and flattering and illuminating and you should definitely check it out. My last makeup favorite for the video is my Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Contour Kit. I love this so much. Now, I've had this for a while now, and I stopped using it when I got my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit just because I preferred that better at the time. But going back into this now, it's one of those moments where you realize why you loved it so much before, and you might even love it better the second time that you're going into it. And I just, I've been using this every day recently, and I love it so much, and it's very natural, so definitely check this out. So my next few favorites are actually clothing and apparel items and I have been loving these blue pants from Target. They're kind of, I guess you could say, sweatpants slash trousers. They're just really comfortable pants and they gather at the bottom and I've been wearing these so much. I will pair this with the white holy shirt I got from Ross that was in my last favorites video and I would just wear this and it just, you look put together even if you're not trying and that's what I love so much about this. I wore this in my Daenerys wig tutorial video and it's just, it's so comfortable and I love it so much so they still have this at Target last I checked so if you can I would recommend going to get some. So my next favorite is actually a jumpsuit from Ross. So this is it in purple and to be honest I got it in three colors in the span of three months. The first color I got was blue and then I, I ended up finding it again in maroon and then now just recently I found it in purple. So I wore blue the other night when I went out with my girls. It is so cute and comfortable. I could wear it to an airport if I needed to just because it is so comfortable and easy to wear and it's just, you look good in it. So I definitely recommend if you can find these and it, isn't it a great feeling when you find an outfit or a piece of clothing that like you feel beautiful in so you just buy all the colors and I have no shame in it so definitely go check them out. So my next favorite is actually not obviously as practical but I wore it in one of my recent videos. I wore it in my night court tutorial and now I have it sitting on top of my bookshelf because it's too pretty to put up in a cupboard or something like that. So my favorite is this crown that I got from eBay. I love it so much because it just it's stunning and the stars and the moon and everything on it. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And I've always like wanted something like this because you know, everyone wants to feel like a princess. So even if I'm not wearing it, just putting it up is so fun. And this was also cheap too. I'll leave a link in the description box below so y'all can check it out, but it's nice, sturdy material. I think only one of the rhinestones fell out, but that was when I was putting it in my wig and I like, scratched it and stuff so one of the rhinestones came off but it's no big deal you can't see it when you're wearing it but it's absolutely beautiful it's nice quality and so i definitely think y'all should check it out if you are looking to be maybe a princess for halloween or anything like that it's just it's absolutely beautiful so my next three favorites are actually all soundtracks and you probably guessed it they're all from musicals 
I have a problem. Anyway, my first favorite was from the musical Heathers. I started listening to their soundtrack recently. It is absolutely amazing. It's fun. It's just, it's very original and it's, I was gonna say classic, but that's not the word I would use for this. You just, you need to listen to it, especially Candy Store. If you listen to Candy Store, that will give you a good general idea for what you're about to listen to in the musical. The next soundtrack is Sweeney Todd. I love Sweeney Todd. I saw Sweeney Todd with my best friend last year, made amazing memories, and just Sweeney Todd has been a part of my life for a few years now because my brother and I were obsessed with Sweeney Todd for a long time, so I just love it. And so when I was doing prepping for my Halloween tutorials, I was listening to the soundtrack and it's just, it was wonderful to listen to and it was just refreshing to kind of go back and listen to it, so definitely check that out. And the last musical I was listening to was the first time I ever listened to it. It's called Be More Chill. And I follow these Broadway video posts on Instagram and so I saw a snippet from one of their songs and I decided to listen to the entire soundtrack while I was doing some of my tutorials and it is so interesting. I absolutely love it. This is definitely a show I'd love to see in person just so I could actually visualize exactly what's going on because it's an absolutely beautiful show and it's kind of fun and quirky like Heather's in a way but it's so unique. So it's definitely one that I'm going to want to check out in person but y'all should definitely still check out the soundtrack. And my last favorite for the month is actually a movie, and it is It. I, it has like so many feels for me personally, just because I had never seen a scary movie in the movie theater before, and my dad took me to see it because we had seen It when I was living in Los Angeles, and it was just something I was really interested in, because going to makeup school, they bring up all these movies, and they make these connections, and I feel like I need to see it in order to fully compare the makeup to the movie and so my dad sat through the entire movie of it which is like four hours long if you know what I mean and so when I moved back here I really wanted to see it for um, reasons that you might see coming up in the next month just keep an eye out and he said that he would take me and that really meant a lot for me because it just adds so many more memories knowing that my dad watched the original with me and then he took me to see the newer one so it was definitely something i appreciated so if you can go see it it's absolutely amazing i felt that the most suspenseful part was honestly in the first 10 minutes because it was setting up the entire storyline and what i love about the movie is it is so story driven and entertaining and the story is absolutely amazing it was so well done the acting was incredible mm, i'm gonna hurt so many people I, per Ooh, I personally liked the remake better than the original. I feel like the original was absolutely amazing. However, it was a little hokier, and at the time, I don't think the acting was as well done as it was now. However, we still need to see what part two has in store to actually make a full assessment, but I feel like if I were to watch it again, I would rather watch the newer version again than I would the original version. But Needless to say, they're both absolutely amazing and you should definitely watch both of them, especially the first one so you can understand the newer one better, if that makes sense, just because there are definitely some pieces in the newer one that if you don't know the story already, you might be a little confused and kind of just like, oh, what, what? I don't understand, but it, it, it's great and you should definitely check it out. And those are my favorites for the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos, especially because the next videos I'm going to be uploading are my Halloween videos. Now I'm going to be uploading a makeup tutorial every weekday and then a fun little video every Saturday. So you guys are definitely going to want to check in for that. It is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on. And don't be discouraged because they're not all creepy necessarily. I have a nice mixture of a little bit of everything so I can please everybody who's watching. I will have some Halloween themed beauty makeups, I will have some fun body paints that you can do on yourself, and for my more special effects peeps, I will have a few special effects projects that you will be happy to recreate. So with that being said, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!